Greeting Church family and any others who might be watching with us today. I wanted to have a few moments with you today to share one of my favorite stories in the Old Testament and just be real for a few moments. I'm reading the story of Elijah running away from 1 Kings 19. It says Ahab told his wife Jezebel what Elijah had done and that he had killed the prophets. She sent a message to Elijah. You killed my prophets. Now I'm going to kill you. I pray that the gods will punish me even more severely if I don't do it by this time tomorrow. Now, them fighting words right there. She is angry. Her hatred for Elijah is no joke. It continues, Elijah was afraid when he got her message and he ran to the town of Beersheba in Judah. He left his servant there, then walked another whole day into the desert. Finally, he came to a large bush and sat down in its shade. He begged the Lord, I've had enough. Just let me die. I'm no better off than my ancestors. Now, this is where I want to get real with you for a minute. <laughs> Y'all, 2020 has been hard for all of us, and some of us are experiencing more than others. But nobody knows how to plan. Nobody knows what's next. It's the middle of August, and it feels like all the time there's something else to be mad about or worried about or sad about. And we still have an election to get through. I just can't even. PSA, just be nice out there. But on top of all the, the global and national craziness of 2020, there's just life, right? I mean, we know so many of you are going through life-altering illnesses. Some of you are going through tra employment transitions. We've had to celebrate the lives of family members with you in these strange days. We're all going through all of the regular stuff on top of all of this big stuff. And I just want you to know, it's been no different in my life. There has been the stress of Brian's shoulder surgery, dealing with all the residual things of that situation. My mother has had a couple of health episodes in Virginia. Plus there's just all the everydayness of life. I've never told God that I wanted to die because I don't, but there have been so many moments when I've just been so frustrated or sad or downright angry with our situation. Yesterday, we had a difficult phone call with an insurance company and I found myself in the car later that day frustrated because I just wanted one thing to be easy in this process. So I found myself in a place that I hate being, crying. I hate crying a lot. But I don't rattle off my woes to you for pity or validation or anything along those lines. I just want you to hear that if you are struggling right now, it's normal, it's okay. You don't have to have it all together. I mean, here's Elijah, the one that just a few weeks ago defeated all the prophets of Baal. He's done amazing things in God's name. He's felt the very power of God move in him and through him. Yet here he cries out, I've had enough. Just let me die. One of the greatest prophets and the most spirit-filled leaders of the people of Israel is frustrated and ready to just give up on all of it, even ready to give up on his own life. But the story continues. He lay down in the shade and fell asleep. Now I can get behind this. Life hurts. Don't know what else to do? Take a nap. Naps are healing. Don't let anyone else ever tell you otherwise. And then suddenly an angel woke up and said, get up and eat. Elijah looked around and by his head was a jar of water and some baked bread. He sat up, he ate and drank, then he laid back down and went to sleep. You're getting the point that sleep is important here, right? Soon the Lord's angel woke up again and said, get up and eat or else you'll get too tired to travel. So Elijah sat up and ate and drank. The food and water made him strong enough to walk 40 more days. At last he reached Mount Sinai, the mountain of God, and he spent the night there in a cave. God strengthened him. God was not gonna let Elijah quit. God wasn't finished with Elijah by any stretch of the imagination, so God was going to keep nudging Elijah until he got himself fed and ready to travel again. How do you see that you are being nourished by God right now? What are the little bits of spiritual food that God is providing for you? It can look like so many different things. For me, yesterday, it was Brian. While I was gone for an appointment in Maribel, he scrubbed and cleaned the kitchen and cleaned the living room. But it just lifted my spirit so high that he took time to do something so that I wouldn't have to. Some days the spiritual food is going for a walk or accomplishing a workout. Other days it's a kind text from a friend or a church member that encourages me. 
How is God encouraging you to pull you up and forward to help you get to the next place? I hope you will look for the little bits of food around you as we live into the rest of this week. Let us bow for a word of prayer. Oh God, we admit that there are some days we just don't know how to move forward. We admit that there are some days that we are angry or frustrated or sad and we don't know how to keep going. But we also trust, oh God, that you are the one nourishing us, that you are the one sending little bits of food and nourishment, little, little moments of angels tapping on our shoulders. So wherever it is that we are in this moment, God, we give you thanks because you never let us quit. You never let us throw in the towel and say that, that we can't keep going. But if we're just stuck in the moments of frustration or sadness, help us to know that, that it's okay and that you're there with us too, that you're there in the hard moment, and that maybe the best thing we can do is just give ourselves a moment to relax, maybe to take a nap, Maybe to just pause and wait for your gentle nudge to keep moving forward. We love you, God, and we are so thankful that no matter what we are feeling, what we are experiencing, the trials that we face, the frustrating days that we go through, you are always there and you love us. It's in your name, Jesus, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, that we pray. 